Ecstasy may soon become legally available in the U.S. Ecstasy might have had its heyday in the 1980s as a party drug, but it's becoming increasingly popular again, and not just with teens at raves. Psychiatrists are now in on the scene. Here, three things you need to know about Molly, because it might soon become legally available in the U.S. I read that MDMA might be legally available in the U.S. soon. What? Trippy, we know, but a recent study found that yep breath ethylenidic symptomphetamine street name, Molly or ecstasy eliminated PTSD symptoms in 83% of patients after just two sessions, suggesting that the drug's stimulant meat psychedelic effects can potentially treat mental health issues. Proponents are now lobbying to get FDA approval for its use in psychotherapy. How does it help your brain, though? My friend takes it at parties and says it just gives her energy and makes her get him see MDMA causes a surge in serotonin, which, yes, can increase energy, empathy, and sensitivity to touch, but it also may make you more introspective. So the thinking goes, a victim of sexual assault or someone who's recently lost a loved one common causes of PTSD and women could take it to gain perspective and separate themselves from the ordeal in order to process it better. But I can't imagine shrinks prescribing Molly. That's because they won't be. The pill is being considered for use only in psychiatrists' offices, since the come down can make you more susceptible to depressed thoughts. It can also spike your blood pressure and interact with other meds. And as for the illegal street versions? Those drugs are unregulated and can contain anything from caffeine to cocaine eikes. So tell your partying pal to lay off.